The first set of participants in the Army War College, established in June 2017, with the mission for a well-trained, educated, and motivated operational leaders for the security sector, are on a study tour of security agencies as part of the training programs for the participants. During the tour to the Special Task Force Operation Safe Haven, which has multi-agency operations and has been maintaining law and order in Plateau State, parts of Bochi and Southern Kaduna, participants were exposed to inter-agency modus operandi as regards cooperation and coordination for a successful security operation. We have chosen the operation as a case study that will bring our participants to see how the uh, agencies that are operating under the umbrella of the operation are cooperating and how they are being coordinated. And maybe at the end of the day, the participants will go back, analyze whatever information they, or data they gather from here, and they will be able to suggest ways of improving on the interagency cooperation and coordination in this operation. Hosting the participants at a briefing, the commander Operation Safe Haven believes that there can be a better working relationship between the various security agencies. We've also shown that um, with good synergy and good understanding and good training that the multi-agency uh, uh, commissions can work well together. For some of them, experience acquired from the study tour will go a long way towards improving their professional conduct and perfect their skills in operational procedures. Honestly, it has been quite an engaging experience, and I do hope that at the end of uh, our experience here, our exposure here, our tour here, we are going to be more knowledgeable and enhanced in, on how agencies, different agencies, are expected to cooperate. As the participants continue the study tour of security agencies towards improving their professional skills in providing security for citizens, especially in crisis-ridden areas, there's the need to also engage a synergy with the civil populace so as to fortify the military-civil relationship towards ensuring that peace reigns in these areas.